Hello everyone, I'm going to talk about CT scan of congestive heart failure. The CT scan will demonstrate some signs of congestive heart failure like second septal line due to intestinal edema, septal ground blood capacity in the dependent part of the lung. Pound shape will be different of 10, 115 between the, the, the dependent and non dependent part of the line. And it can find the bilateral thorough diffusion. So, all, the, all about the sign we can see in this image. Especially about the second subtal line and subtal ground glass of IST in the posterior line. And sometimes we can find cardiomegaly, small amount of pleural fusion, dilated RVC and hepatic vein with a flat contrast from the right atrium into IVC and ascites. So this is image so in the first image at the left side we can see the big part with right pleural fusion Large corruption in the right side and the small corruption in the left side. In the middle image, we can see the contrast in the water vein and IVC, and along with small ascites. And in the last image, in the low right, we saw about the effusion. in the peritoneum. And sometimes we can find in the lung line crazy paving pattern like so in the image. And we can also find a large myasthenal lump node and AC myasthenal fat also. Lymphadenopathy in patients with congestive heart failure does not necessarily indicate malignancy or an infection process. So these three images, so in the A, so that if you use ground glass of hosty, subtosic, cleaning, and small bilateral floral fusion. And we can see some calcification in the circumflex artery. And the image being so about the enlarged lung node in the gestem, especially in the paratracheal region. And image C, so the resolution of the mediastinal fat and vascular engagement. And we cannot find any dilated uh, mediastinal lung node as before. Thank you.